Hi guys, so don't mind this setup. This is how I stream on Twitch with my camera and my gaming headset. So we're about to do it. Intimate. So <laughs> right in your ear with the little microphone. Anyway, I wanted to show you basically um, how I like start writing copy, how I approach it, how everything. Now, normally, um, I have like a deeper process and I send clients a, what's it called? A, uh, a questionnaire before like we get started and usually we get on a call and I get like a deeper knowledge of their business outside of just being sent their, uh, website. So keep in mind that usually there's a lot more depth to this. I'm going into this, like I just opened this up. I'm like diving fresh into it to like show you a real approach to how I would start it right off the bat. Not like it's a polished version of like what it would look like. So normally I would have that and their marketing materials, all of that all together. But that's a lot. <laughs> and I was like not wanting to approach this like fully as a cop because that can take like a huge time investment. So I just thought I'd do a basic one. So, so George came to me and we've been chatting a little bit. So I have like a general idea about his site. So, okay. So the first thing I would write off the bat, and like I've said, I'm not going to go like wildly too into depth for this. But I would take out all of, I would just delete it all and start over. You don't need hello, because I mean, you know, it sounds like a letter and you don't need it to sound like a letter. Um, people are well aware that they're on a page to be sold to. So you don't need it to sound like uh, old fashioned copywriting, which is like very like, like it looks like an actual letter. Um, I would go right into what are the benefits of doing this, right? Like. What are the benefits and who is he aiming this at, right? Because uh, from my understanding of reading his research and like things that I generally know about Linux is like, and if I'm pronouncing it wrong, computer nerds just roast me. That's fine. <laughs> it's an operating system similar to like Mac OS and like Windows. I am showing my lack of computer knowledge, but it's like in that world, in that kind of frame, and you can like code it and like make it do things you want it to do, from my understanding. So it would be extremely important to know like who you're aiming it to. And it's like, of course, it's like really easy for a lot of us to say like, oh, um, just anyone who wants to learn how to do that. But that's not the, like, just that's like me saying as a copywriter, like, oh, anyone who needs copy is my target market. And that's not the case, right? Because so, like, a cute little old lady wanting to learn how to use her phone to, like, send her grandkids, like, pictures is way different than an, someone who designs apps who needs to, like, once again, outside of my realm. But you get it, like, and you want your language to uh, reflect that. So I would need to know that right off the bat. It, it, I assume just by like reading through and like what he has talked about, like this is people in the tech world who are either need this for their job or do this. Yeah. Like, I mean, I, he has this part here. Who is this course for? But like, you need it way more specific than that. Like, what does that do? Why would I need that? Like, and I understand that you would, who you're selling it to, they would already know why they need it for the most part, but you just need, you need the language to show them that you understand them. Like, if I was selling a fitness routine, like, people know they want to get in shape, but if it speaks to how I speak and my language and what I'm interested in, that is really good copy. So it's like, let's say, theoretically, I have no idea, right? If he's marketing this to people who need to know how to do this for their job, it's like, 
become a top performer at your company by mastering Linux in three easy steps, right? You handle it as you can get more money, get a promotion, look like a rock star at your job. Like this is why you need to narrow down who you're selling to. And if you need to even make separate landing pages because you have different target markets, then you do. But I would make it very specific on like who wants it and why and what is that benefit. Because you want your product or service. If you're writing copy or you have copy, you have a business, you want here's the like before where your customer is, your customer, client, whatever. Here's like their life beforehand and you want to show. Oh, you can see all my cute boxes in the background that holds my Anyway, you want to show them like this is, I understand you're here and I understand the pain points you have while you're in this bubble. And with my products or service, you can get here and let me illustrate for you what that after is like, right? And most people, most business owners talked about themselves and like they can't see their products from a distance because they're so in it which is why it's so hard for most businesses to write their own copy. Um, so, uh, I mean, I would take that all out and I would just angle it right off the bat, like what the big benefit is of knowing these commands. Is it that you can design apps in a second? You can create programs. You can... And then what's the benefit of all of those things, right? Like if you are, if it is for creating apps, I have no idea of roast me, like I said, in the comments. <laughs> and obviously if I was writing this copy, like actually writing it, I would do deeper research and like pull up as much as possible. And then like, I'll show you, here's what I would do. I would go to like credit.com. Does it show me on credit? Go. You can see all the because there's almost always a come on go computer go there's almost always a uh, forum basically for anything you do want to know why not go go there we go okay great 400,000 membership right here So what I would do is, for research, I would go through and read. You can go to sort by uh, top of all time. That's my secret. And you want to go, because this is like the most rated uh, I mean, some of it, of course, is going to be political. Some of it, of course, is going to be like, but that's where I would start and understanding everything about like what you would use this for and why and how this matters and what the real point of this is, right? Like, I made a site to learn Linux. What do you think? And then I'd read this and go, okay. Okay. And then, as you can see, I would find some of his competitors, and I would know exactly how they're marketing it. See, here's a site, nice little homepage. George, I'd recommend something like this. I mean, like, I don't know if this is complicated or hard, but there's a lot of templates out there for free, um, depending on where you have your website hosted up. But, like, and I would creep through and be like, okay, so. Find it free right and then like okay what is it and as you can see I would like go through and study all of her competitors and like understand what they're doing and who people are that are talking about this and how they talk about it and um like and I would go in and write down like keywords that I saw over and over like This could be important. I don't know. I mean, obviously, I'm not going to, like, sit here for, like, hours and, like, study this. 
right now because that video would be a sad mind. But, <laughs> but like all of these words could potentially be wildly important, right? Like they could matter. And I don't need to include those in the copy because it, if he's advertising to people who are professionals in this and who really know this, then you want to speak their language or the copy is going to turn them off because it's clearly going to be a fraud. Which is why copywriters who specialize in an industry and get very specific can make more money because they know those terms like off the back of their hand. Especially if they're like legal terms, medical terms, like very industry specific. It takes a long time to memorize those and know how to use them in proper context. Thus why they can charge more. However, but that but George knows his own stuff. He knows his own industry. So he could write like so right off the bat, right, I would go into like I said, why? Why it matters, the benefits of it, and then either that or I would write it out with uh kind of like a story of like where they are now. Like they're trying to write code and they keep sucking and the program keeps failing and it's not working and their boss is pressuring them and, or their app or their website or whatever they're trying to design is um, crashing repeatedly and it's not working and every project just takes them so long but they want to master this. Like kind of like, here's where you are before you buy my program. And then like, wouldn't it be great if you, I mean, okay, that's a little cheesy, so I wouldn't say, like, wouldn't it be great, but, like, wow, it's actually hard to, like, condense everything I do into, like, a 20-minute video, but, but then I would outline that, their pain points, and then show, like, with this program, like, you'll know how to do it in just a few easy steps. You'll know how to spot where the bug is in the code you wrote. Bear with me. Okay. Like, you will know how to spot the problem. You'll know, like, okay, so, because he goes into it here, right? Like, a section of 34 chapters. Most times inspiration, the total duration is 3 hours and 15 minutes. Which is so much content, but I'm like, of what? Like, what are those 34 chapters? Like, feel free to, like, take um, that and break it down. Like, in chapter 1, you're going to learn... The basics. In chapter two, you're going to learn how to add color. In chapter three, you're going to, but like, I mean, don't tell them, like, the secrets, nuggets that are in each chapter, but like, what are they? Like, what is each thing? Um, what am I going to learn? Like, break it down. Because here's where a lot of people mess up. They write about the um, features of a product or service and not the benefits. The features of hiring me as a copywriter is that you get, like, Two phone calls, you get three edits, you get, you know, like these are the concrete one home page, one sales page. Like that is the feature. And then there's the benefit, which is make more money, look like a professional, all of these things, right? And by describing like the total duration is three hours and fifteen minutes, that is a feature. That is a specific like this salt. Uh, it's five ounces. It's in a small container. Like, that's the features. But what are the benefits? What does salt do for you? Balances your thyroid. Like, okay, we won't get into that. But it's very different things. And that really is what makes copy um, so different from, well, like, good and bad copy. This is what makes it different. Is like, focusing. And... I say it all the time and people understand this in a very logical sense, but they don't put it into practice. So um, I would take, I would break down each chapter. I would, the total duration is three hours and 15 minutes. Okay. Compared to like, make that in comparison to like, like this is the equivalent of like taking a whole semester of school, like, Learn a whole semester of commands in three hours and 15 minutes, right? Or um, how, how long is each chapter about, like, how much do I need to practice? How much, um, 
you know what I mean? Like that kind of thing. Like what are like the tangible benefits of using this specifically as specific as you can get it. Um, okay. And then let's see how to access this course. Great. Uh, let's see. I would say include things like, I mean, this is getting really like nitty gritty specific, but like, is there a refund policy? Can I buy just the first chapter and see if it's a good fit? Is there lifetime access to the course? Is there, um, also I would include testimonials on a sales page. Just this is a sales page. This is not a home page because at the bottom here, you're selling something. <laughs> Uh, I mean, it kind of could be a landing page. Usually landing pages are like gathering emails and interest and sales pages are selling you the product. It's now time to buy. It's time to whip out that credit card. It's go time, right? So, um, I would include testimonials. I would include after, after all of the other stuff of the benefits of like how it can help you, what it can help you in your career, how fast you can master this program. I would also then include like a little bit about who he is, why he should be teaching this in the first place, his professional, um, I mean, there's not even much here. I would go into like, how did he learn it? Like, did he teach himself? Was he... Did he go to school for this? Did he learn this in classes? Um, I would break all that down a little bit more and then include testimonials because it builds trust. It builds like, you know, like if I just wanted to say like, I'm like on the fence about buying it, usually like someone... Okay, so it does take you to a... Like where you can see other ratings, but I would go into those and I would pull out the best ones because, duh. And <laughs> I mean, like, see, they're here. All of these are here, but I would include those, like all of this here. See, th see what I mean? But how I would make this copy a little bit deeper is... See, some of this is great. Um, this might have many advantages. I mean, I, this is the kind of stuff that I would pull and put on his home page. Well, the sales page. I would, George, I would make like on your website, I would make like a home page and then like, like a page specifically for just purchasing this. But that's just me. Um, but I would pull a lot of this, but I would make it very user-friendly. I would make it understandable for, uh, see, and like I said, I didn't do any pre-research because I wanted to show you guys right off the bat, like raw, real, how I do this. Um, this course is for suitable to IT professional staff. I went to run and improve the skills and lines operating system. Home users who are on the don't want to say my any other Okay, so. I would pick one of those. I would pick the ones who seem to buy my programs more and then double down on them and like really get into their head on why that matters, right? So like, let's say I was like, okay, we're gonna pick hard selling to IT professional staff, right? So that way you could find them and connect with them on the internet, build rapport. I mean, I wouldn't go right out the gate and like pitch to them. That's a whole nother story. But I would, you know, kind of find out like what pain points they have and what I would go onto IT professional staff like subreddits and look up um, what they talk about, what they're frustrated with, what is making them feel overwhelmed. Like can mastering Linux save them a ton of time and energy and money and like make them look better at work? Can it, if, can you make automate programs to like make their job easier like however it is highlight those and double down double down really focus on that's that's what you really want to do 
if you're writing copy or you're writing copy for yourself, you want to narrow it down and speak to them in ways that under, like they understand and they relate to because going back to fitness, right? Like there's fitness and then, but as you have seen, like there's fitness for women, there's fitness for new moms, there's fitness for like bodybuilders. Like it's all so specific. And the more you show them that you understand the problems that they have and the things that they're struggling with all the time, oof, oof, the more likely they are to buy from you because they think that you understand them and their problems and you can solve them. Anyway, so testimonials. I'll just only do a few more minutes here and then maybe you know deeper into this later. But um just looking at my notes. Just yeah, like I said, like it would usually take me like a full week or two to like really put this together, but this is how I would approach it and how I would start. Um yeah, like this. This is something I would like screenshot and then put into the homepage. Um, yeah, like all of these ones, all these good ones, like, and I, I don't know if you didn't follow up with them, any of them, but like, I would even recommend following up with some of them and getting like more detailed reviews, especially for these like short little ones. Like, okay, what, what did you like? Like, what didn't you like? I mean, some of these are great. Um, yeah, I mean, that's really great. Like, the instructor's engaging straight to the point. Like, all of these things, uh, like, that show that George is trustworthy and knows what he's talking about. Like, all these great reviews. I would, like, I wouldn't go crazy and put, like, a hundred testimonials all over here. But I would say, I take, like, the best ones and show that other people like it and trust it. And, um, I mean, there's a lot of other things you could do. You could, like, suggest... If George was the client, I'd suggest, like, um, I mean, not me, because I obviously know nothing about computers, but um, finding someone who, like, can extend out the blog and make this launder and get more SEO, and which is another way, if you are a writer, how to start pitching your clients more services so you don't just have a one-hit wonder kind of client. You can carry on doing other things for them. Anyway, um... Yeah, like this, like too vague, too vague. What are the benefits? Mm -mm, you should know them. Like, and George does, and I know George does. And um, you can pull these from testimonials too. Like you can pull like the exact benefits. Like if someone was like, oh, I used this to uh, no things like, this stuff. Most people focus on the command line. Okay, no, wait. Hang on. Uh, oh, anyway. I'm like, now it's taking too long. <laughs> For now I'm just talking. A lot of copywriting just staring at the screen and trying to like piece things together and like figure out your flow and then taking all the pieces and rearranging them accordingly. But... George knows the benefits, and I would hide, find benefits from the reviews, like specific benefits that people like really liked, and highlight those completely. So, let's see. So it would all come together, like I mean, and like I said, it would take like a week or two of fine tweaking, but it would be like master all the basics again. Never have to pull out your handbook because um, you'll know them like by instant memory and your programs will run smooth and you won't run into problems and all of these things. And I would highlight those right off the bat. And you don't need to make it fancy. You don't need to make, need to make it complicated. You can get right to the point. It's like just a few key benefits. And sometimes that's all you need. You don't need to get fancy. You don't need to list like a hundred benefits that like, cause then you're starting to promise people like things that aren't true. Like all these like gurus I'm always bragging about, like <gasps> become a millionaire and get the hottest girlfriend ever and travel the world and live on an island and have a mansion. And you're like, okay, okay, okay. Dude. Like, but just a few like 
master the basics, know what you're doing. And most people are like, yeah, yeah, I would like that. That would help. That would benefit my life if I had that. So that's really how I would approach starting copywriting with this. Um, yeah, just hack all that out and make like this whole intro just long. I mean, delete all of it, but like size wise, like that's, that's not too bad of a size. Sometimes you can go longer for, um, sales pages. Depends. Oh, <sighs> actually what I would do, but this is a lot of work, but I would suggest to the client maybe even like, cause if they don't know, if they don't have enough traffic, whatever, setting up like a a B test, one with like longer sales page and one with the shorter sales page, just to test which one does better. But that's just me. Anyway, that is it. That is pretty much how I approach copywriting um, with clients. And that's like my first initial research phase. And I'll probably show more in depth, like how I approach it. Like Maybe I'll just do a whole live, I, I stream on Twitch, which is why I have this. And maybe one day, maybe one day I'll do like a whole live stream of like writing actual copy for a few hours. But let me get a client to like agree to that. So anyway, that is it. Thank you so much for watching. I'm probably going to think of 300 other things to say after this video, but like that's the basics. That's, that's a good start. Okay. That is it. Bye, guys.